I realize my show's main focus is on GNU Linux and uh, GNU Linux type distributions, but I've had so many requests that I review a BSD, and specifically uh, the requesters stated that I should look at PC BSD because they state that it is beginner friendly. This is the only BSD you will see on Spatry's Cup of Linux, so any future requests for BSD will be directed to this video here. And I will answer some questions about the differences between uh, Linux and BSD. And uh, I'll have a look at this uh, distro right after I roll the intro. All right, since this is the only video on my channel that will be focused on BSD. I figured I would, uh, I did a little research and I found out what the differences between GNU Linux and BSD are. And uh, before I look at the distribution here and all the choices that you get with it, I'm going to uh, cover a few things uh, that makes BSD different from Linux. All right, first, Linux has GNU, the GNU public licensing which, of course, if you modify any of the software, you need to actually make that source code available so that other people can modify it, where BSD licensing does not have that restriction, and that is just the short and sweet version of it. Okay, also, another difference is the Linux kernel is, um, is uh, moderated, maintained by Linus Tervals, the uh, inventor of the Linux kernel, where BSD has a core team that, uh, that, that moderates what is happening with uh, the BSD infrastructure. Okay, Linux focuses on the kernel alone, and BSD focuses on the OS as a whole. So just think of Linux as a kernel with a bunch of little pieces mishmashed together and that sort of thing, whereas BSD, they were focused on everything working together as a whole there. Okay, and uh, here's a quote that I found as I was doing some research. BSD is what you get when a bunch of Unix hackers sit down and try to port a Unix system to the PC. Linux is what you get when a bunch of PC hackers sit down and try to write a Unix system for the PC. Linux was created to be loosely based on Minix. BSD is a derivative of Unix. Linux supports more bleeding edge software. Uh, so if you want to run the latest and greatest software packages and that sort of thing, you might as well stick with Linux. Otherwise, uh, you might want to use BSD because of it, because it is my understanding that it is rock solid and stable. Uh, Linux supports more hardware than BSD does. Um, and a lot of times, more often, more software support comes to Linux a lot quicker than it will for BSD. Now, uh, I've also read that BSD is, is rock solid, but not as beginner friendly. Uh, some ver flavors of BSD that are out there, you may need to build from source. So that's why that takes the equation out of it uh, for beginner friendliness. But my requesters assured me that this distribution that I'm looking at today is somewhat beginner friendly. We'll see that in a moment. Okay, now the first thing you'll notice when you log in is you have a number of options that you can um, log into. This has a few desktop environments, and I'm looking at the VirtualBox disk image that was downloaded from their site. You have a Fluxbox, you have GNOME, KDE, LXDE, OpenBox, and XFCE all in the mix here. Um, so let's go ahead and pick GNOME. Now remember, this is the latest version, and if you're using the VirtualBox disk image, the uh, password is PCBSD. And we'll go ahead and log in. Alright, 
and uh, it'll take a moment for it to load everything up for us. Uh, you will see that this is using GNOME 2. So as I stated earlier, this is not really bleeding edge software. Um, but if stability is your concern, this is the one you want. If security is your concern, this is the one you want. But there isn't as many choices in terms of hardware. Now, I'd like to uh, direct your attention to uh, one application that this comes with, and that is the App Cafe. Very much like the uh, software centers that are in Ubuntu and Linux in general. And from here, you can browse and you can locate applications uh, that you wish to install on this. Also, we have the, B, the PC BSD control panel where you can change and manage a number of things in your system right here. Now this comes with a whole slew of applications. Uh, I'm not going to be able to go into all of these, but um, this uh, VirtualBox disk image really came jam packed with everything. So if you really want to experience this in a virtual environment before testing it, you might want to download the VirtualBox image. I will have a link to the PCBSD9 website where you can download uh, images and play with these yourselves. But you will see uh, pretty much this is jam packed with just about everything under the sun. And most of these applications look familiar because these also run on Linux, which is really, really nice. So uh, we also had a discussion on uh, the uh, Linux Zoo crew where uh, one of my uh, guests on the show has dis did describe that PCBSD um, is there for the stability and that sort of thing. So. Um, really, because I like bleeding edge, I don't think I would really want to use this. But if you want to have a software um, that's rock solid, that you know that's never going to crash or anything like that, hey, give this, give this a look and see if it's something you like. It's not Linux, though, and um, it doesn't have the uh, GNU licensing and that sort of thing. Um, let's have a look at another desktop. All right, now I looked at the uh, KDE before filming this, I th thought it was kind of bloated and slow and it was kind of uh, giving me a little bit of issue with my screencaster and that sort of thing. And, oh well. So I decided to go ahead and look at this in uh, LXDE mode, but as I said, there are a number of desktops to choose from and I like what they did with this as well. And of course, uh, whenever you uh, boot into one of these environments, you get this nice little um, introduction tells you about uh, how to get connected uh, the, it tells you about the app cafe for installing applications the control panel for configuring the system preserving your files oh so it has a light preserver application um, it has an update system as you can see in the lower right it's saying that there are updates available and, of course, this is also a community-driven uh, um, operating system as well, so you can get support for this as well. All right, so uh, very nice. Uh, I'd like to thank all the people who requested that I have a look at this. Personally, BSD is not something I would really want to use uh, at all, but this may, be your, this may be something that you might want to look into, uh, especially if stability and security is a concern for you and you have the hardware that this will run because the hardware selections for this is somewhat limited. Okay, that's all I have on BSD. Thank you for watching. I have more requests headed your way. Mm -hmm.